Praise the Lord. Well, we are here one more day again. And we are trying to to keep people alive of what is going on. And I thank God for all those who have taken part in this in this uh, first purification time and mind cleaning and body cleaning and everything. This fast is to help those who has gone through perilous times, attacks, and sin and fall and rise and doubt and confuse and because many attacks right now is taking place around everybody and God is showing up you know I thank God for his grace and where we can prepare ourselves and purify ourselves you know and and this morning here we're talking here about the world system you know and the team is gonna be talking about the world and this this world not easy and we are talking today, today is the 10th day. And we say stay off of TikTok and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Let's stay off of these things for seven hours. That's what uh, the law says. If you want to purify yourself and, uh, and get your mind clean and, and everything, you know. Because there are many, many, many things outside here on the media and on things that is truth. Uh, truth and sometimes we need we need to just pure purify our mind we, to reconcile back to God and maybe start over or continue to get stronger we have to just stay away from the media sometimes the media is so possessive and there's so much truth that outside there on the media dirty truth that, that makes you drift or get you stronger that's what it does. It gets you drift, gets you stronger, make you repent, make you feel sorry, make you, you know, you feel conscious. All these things outside there is good and also bad. It brings on one into the world and it takes one out of the world. It's called judgment. You know, I thank God again. I know God is doing things that are wrong. A lot of people, a lot of celebrities and and, and high rank pastors and everything. God is shaking the whole body. But we must know how to come back to God and be purified and be sanctified and be holy. That is what it is I've learned in my 40 years. How to reconcile back to God and get your mind right or your thing right. If you fail or you fall weak or you, you doubt or you, you, you get faithless, we call on the attacks, you know. And what has happened right now in this digital world, it has been used now to damage the church and the train of God mind. So we are very, very careful outside there what we listen to and everything because good news is good news and bad news is bad news. And the bad news can make good people turn wrong. So again, the bad news can make good people turn off. You know, and the good news can keep you stronger. The good news is only the news of Jesus Christ. There is no good news anywhere else except in Christ. Because sometimes news companies start you. So I'm just coming again with you. And our text this morning is, is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, 16, and 17. Only read this truth and purpose. It says here, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, Love of the Father is not, not in him. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. You know, you know, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Right? And the world passed away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abide forever. Now, this text is making us very, very clear. The world system out there, it will always be there. Jesus says, you could be in the world, not be of the world. And no one can leave this world unless you die. And once you're here, you will be entangled and approached by the world system. And it could take you out or get you stronger. I learned that in my walk with God. I've made many mistakes in my work with God, and God just turned me away from the world system. 
I've said things, you know, I believe things, you know, I even preach things that, that, that now I'm living in right now, it puts people in bondage, you know, how you preach it, how you say it. I am 68 years old, so I have learned some stuff, but the world system will always be there. You cannot run from it. Try it. If you run across there, it's still there. You are in this world. So we have to we have to find ways to conquer the whole system. And I want to advise you today, this time, give the TikTok and the thing a little time. Get your mind bubbled. Stay off the, the good news and the bad news and the ungodly stuff. And let us see if you can make that seven days. Shut your phone off for a while. You know, everybody just go on, go on the, the media just to find who say what and who's happened to what and they are not checking themselves. So John is making clear, he says, love not the world. That means that love, not a gap of love, that is selfish love. That love is when you desire. I, I am in the world. That love will always approach me. There is, and I tell a guy last night, there is no one perfect, but we can be pure. You know, and purity means to stay pure is a fight. And God understand, and one of the things that God gives to us is grace, that favor. Because God understand your strength and understand your weakness. And take it, he that thinketh he stand, lest he fall. So you have to understand that you have to know how to stay connected to God. Even though the world has gasped you, or the flesh has gasped you, or the lust has gasped you, there's still a way to stay connected to God. And that is through his word, through the things of God. So this day, I want to admonish you, try your best to stay off at the media just for seven hours, eight hours. I will shut, I'm about to shut my phone down today because God has given us the instruction. I'm going to shut my phone down today, only taking calls. I am not going on nothing. In fact, I never cost that much in Facebook, YouTube, this one. No, 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 no. I would have shut my phone down today because there is so much good news out there, but it's also bad news. And you know, we're trying now to be to purify yourself. This fast is to get your spirit and get your body cleansed. You know, and I'm doing this 40 days prayer fast on purpose. Many might say, well, boy, you're losing weight, you're getting small, but my spirit is being purified. And at the end of this fast, I want to be justified. And whatever I've done wrong, say wrong, think wrong, I'm trusting God to, to, re, to heal me and to give me energy again in the spirit to fight good battles. And I thank God for you. Maybe you are pure, maybe you are perfect, but I'm not perfect, I'm just pure. And being pure is to stay with God. It's John said here, you know, and the world, the world passed away, the last day of, but he that doeth the will of God abide forever. And my advice to you, do your best to today and further on by coming back to God's will. God bless you here. Have a good day. God bless you.